Hello everyone, welcome back to step three of this resin seascape. Today we're making some water and waves. So I'm mixing about four ounces of art resin. That would be two ounces of the resin and two ounces of the hardener. And these cups are amazing. They have um, ounces and different ratios. So if your resin isn't one to one, they have like two to one, three to one. I'll put these down in my description link below because they're really great and you can reuse them. So give your resin a good stir for at least three minutes. Make sure you scrape the bottom, the sides, and the stick off during your stir so that anything sticking to it, like that hardener, gets mixed in really well. Then I'm going to go ahead and divide this up into three or four cups so that I can get my different shades of blue and my white ready for the resin pigment to be added. Here I'm going to mix in my Armor Art in light green. It just takes a little bit. You can see that I barely added any and when you watch me mix it you'll see it just takes over. So just a little bit goes a long ways. And then I'm using some golden um, fluid paint. It's acrylic. And I don't mind working with these so much when I'm doing my seascapes because they have the best color choices although they do cure a lot faster when I'm working with the acrylics. So it's not perfect, but it does the job. And here you see that armor art mixing in really well. And I went a little overboard with this and I forgot that this um, really takes over my painting. So you'll see that later. But it also sells up really nice, which is cool. Then I'm gonna add in some golden and this is another high flow acrylic paint, just a little bit and mix it in. So I've got kind of a gradient of colors from light to dark, just like the way we painted it when I did it on the board. Now I wanna add in a little bit of blue mica powder. It's a darker blue to give me a little bit of depth and dimension as I'm working this. And this is my own mica powder that I buy in bulk and there's no brand name for it. Um, but any mica powder you can use. And the thing I like about these is where the other colors are flat, this will be shimmery and pearlescent and give a little bit of effect in our water. Now I'm just giving my board a nice wipe down with alcohol wipes. I always have these on hand to wipe my gloves, to wipe my hands, to wipe my tools, and to wipe my boards. Just to make sure nothing's floating around on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some clear resin onto my beach and along where the sand and the water meet. And this is to create a little bit of a border so that when I'm pouring my water it doesn't flow as easily onto the beach and you'll see how I use that clear to push back my blues later. And sorry about my camera shut off for a minute as I was laying down the first color and that's that Armor Art Light um, Epoxy Pigment. And now I'm going in with the Golden Teal acrylic color. And I just layer these in there in a gradient kind of pattern before I start mixing them with my hands and then with my heat gun. Now I'm just using my hand to blend the colors together and make sure the surface has resin everywhere on it so that I can bring in my heat gun and really get these to blend and move around on the board. I'm really 
really loving this heat gun that I bought recently. It's really inexpensive, but it has um, not only a couple different settings for the amount of air that blows out, but it's got a dial on the back that regulates how much heat comes out too. So really loving it and it works great. You can see that that light um, armor art that I was telling you about, it, I forget how much it takes over and um, it's really a great color. I just wished I would have used a little less. So I'll be going back in with some different colors and trying to get the look I'm after before I start adding the white in the waves. And as I'm watching this back and recording over, I'm realizing this would have been a good time to stop working my resin so much because I did end up cooking it a little bit and making it hard to get my waves the way I wanted them. But that's how you learn. So I'm going to go ahead and keep playing with this as you'll see and adding more resin in and then I'll get to my waves. But it'll definitely need another coat of something over it to get the complete look I'm going for. And this is where at the beginning where I add that uh, barrier of clear resin, it's helping me to push back my color so that I can go in and lay down the clear and the white. And I'm using Armor Art White Epoxy Pigment. This stuff is perfect for making waves, cells, and lacing. I absolutely love using it in my seascapes. And of course, I'm not satisfied and I'm gonna go back in with some more of that dark before I get to adding my waves. That's the curse of a resin artist. You just don't know when to stop sometimes. So the waves are always the fun part and unfortunately some of my resin as you can see in the top right was cooked a little too much so I wasn't able to blend it as much as I would hope for so I added a little bit of clear on top and that helped it out a bit. But normally if you get to your resin and folding that white in before it starts to cure then you can really get some cool effects where it looks like it's under the water and on top of the water like um, it really looks in the ocean where there's more depth in it. And again, I'm using that clear at the bottom to help push that color out of the way because now I'm gonna lay in my waves and water that are along the beach. Remember resin likes to flow where resin is, so that is why I'm adding in that clear on my beach so that I can start to blend in my white and make it look like that foamy white water coming up over the beach.
So I'm going to drizzle some more clear resin because I want to add some more white into these areas and bring my waves down a little further. I don't want it over the whole beach because I don't want the color to flow over the whole beach. So only pour your resin where you want your resin to be and flow. And then um, it'll give it that three-dimensional look when it dries where you'll actually see the ridge of the wave on the beach, which is pretty cool. And then with the heat gun, I'm just trying to fan that out a little more, create a little bit of more of that lacing and cells so it looks foamy. And you'll notice all those drips on the side. I do go and um, smooth those out with my hand. And then I pop the torch on it just to bring out a little bit more action in my waves. And this layer is done. If you like what I'm doing, please hit subscribe. That really helps me out a lot. Give me a like or a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will record when I put the final coat on this. Thanks everyone, see you next time.